Yeah, I'm just kind of over it. I'm over it. After I'm over. It. I'm ready. I'm ready to just kind of go to a little beach town, and you know, just you know, and you don't have to. You know, I'll get you your own house. You don't have to live with me. You'll have your own. Well, little... I would never. I know. <laughs> well, why? You're a slob. <gasps> <laughs> I resemble that remark. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. How do you do, you good-looking son of mine? Who? Where? Both my sons are beautiful. I don't see anybody that fits that description <laughs> around here. Is there somebody running past that I don't see? I haven't whistled, so I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. We'll, we'll, we'll see somebody that you'll whistle at. Please don't do that. Mama. Okay. Okay, thank you. Well, it feels like... It depends on how they look. <laughs> We've been so, so, so busy... This last month, and I haven't really filmed enough, and I tried, we were in Denver, and I tried to film in Denver, but that'll be a whole other video, because I was trying to like, you know, but then I wasn't in the mood to film, and I was trying to pick up a few things, and then we were sad, but then we had some really nice times there, and I was like, I don't want to post about like the beautiful things in Denver when we were there for like a memorial, and then it just tonally, it felt off, you yeah. know, so I just, like, I don't know, I didn't feel like... That was the right time to make a video. Right. And then, um, and then I was traveling, and then you go to the doctor, you know, without exaggeration, probably nine times a week. Yeah, sometimes one at two, one at one. Yeah. But, dun, Good dun, news. dun, we have a new team of doctors at UCLA, and they have looked over all of your reports, all of your pathogen things, your bone marrow, everything. These are like some of the best doctors in this field. They said that the original diagnosis, although correct, wasn't explained to us. Really? Correctly. Really? And we have been living pretty depressed. Although you haven't. You've been, like, pretty happy. And, and I've, well, okay. I've been sad. But um, he, th th these people said this isn't life threatening. Right. And that... The, I'm not going to lose my hair. You're not going to lose your hair. They're going to take you off of that original chemotherapy that they had started you on. And you're going to take another medication. Once a week. Once a week. That's great for and, me. Um, and, and I'm oh, not going to die. You're not going to die. No. And that, From that. The, he said that although it is leukemia, they called it, he's like, it's almost like a misnomer. It's, he goes... It is a blood disorder that is, he doesn't even like the fact that they're calling it a leukemia. He goes, although it is, um, he said it's just, uh, it, it's caused by, it could be caused by, you know, a lot of people like rheumatoid arthritis in this particular key. Yeah, like an autoimmune disease. Right. Um, from being anemic for too long. You were anemic for years. Too many years. Years. You went vegan and you didn't supplement enough no and so you went vegan you uh got really anemic and he yeah. said that that could have caused changes in your bone marrow and so although they don't know what caused it we feel great that you are going to just be fine yes although i think now that i'm able to eat the way i used to eat all the time you just dessert first you just want chocolate cake I love chocolate cake. You just want chocolate cake and pie and ice cream and all the things. Yeah, dessert. Well, let's ask if you can have those things. Well, why didn't you ask yesterday? Well, Mom, I was just really happy about all the other news. Well, that, I'll go that ahead, and if, if something changes, then I, I'll cut He back. said that you're going to just be able to, like, everything's going to almost go back to normal. Yeah, like I can almost fly. Yeah, he said that this <laughs> medicine will just, you know, really just keep everything in check and and yeah. it's super so slow growing and get rid of those t cells yeah good news good news good news good news and other news mm -hmm. um my two friends and i are probably going to buy a house in italy and you're excited yes and we won't live there all the time but I think that for some of the time, oh, your bank robber friend is there. I can find her and really get the story. 
Oh, Eileen, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, not bank robber, but... <laughs> she didn't rob a bank, too. <laughs> That's, see, now you know why I'm really buying a house there. <laughs> but we don't know where yet. Anyway, um, so, thinking about it, just, you know, throwing it around, throwing it out into the universe. Well, I like that. Because um, it's good for a change, right? Yeah. It's good for a change. That way you can wear flip-flops and a no. thong oh. and like a sarong. Ugh. And then you can just lay out in the sun and get really crispy and brown. Oh my brown. word. Did you ever see something about Mary? Like, Are she... you, uh, are you, <laughs> are you turning, trying to turn me into some raisin? A raisin. The raisin in the sun. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> um, that's, I keep, oh, I keep smelling perfume. But I realized your scent birds came. And so... Uh, yeah, they did. I, I was like, why does my car smell? I mean, it always smells good when you're in here. But there's a bunch of them in here now. Yeah. So, uh, let's, you want to talk about what you got? Let's talk about what you yeah. got. Well, first you unlock it. Why is there a lock? Because so it won't spray in your purse. Okay. Yeah, not at me. Oh. Not at me. <laughs> what is that? This one is Aqua di Parma or Di Parma. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I like it. Aqua de Parma. Um, all right. Soft. Not on me. Not towards me. Just. Hang on. Let me show this card. Aqua de Parma. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. Go easy. I have to turn it on first. There. Right onto my ceiling. Well, I'm wearing white. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's nice. <sighs> that's, oh, I love this. Yeah, that's really nice. Oh, wow. That's... You know, it smells like orangey and jasmine -y and Oh. Magnolia, musky. Mm. I wish I was just saying that because I, I was such a connoisseur of scent, but I'm reading it off the label. But that's that's <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. Mm. That is wonderful. That is good. What are what are some other ones that you have here? Let me, see. Let me pull the I pulled these out of my purse. I know. Let me see. That's what I like Because I have a little pocket. You've been using these. Yeah. Um, I have a little pocket in my purse. They fit in perfect. House of Bo Espiritu. Espiritu. I don't know. Um, hang on one second. Okay, what is that? I'm going to try it on my hand. All right. This says it has sage, tobacco leaves, upcycled rose, Mexican oak wood, and leather. This is manly. Oh, maybe that's mine. Mmm. I don't know if that's... That's, um... Not my preference. No, this is very... It has a lot of... Well, obviously, mom, tobacco and leather and, and <laughs> oak wood and sage. <laughs> That's not for me. Oh, it's for me, though. You like that? I do like that. Mm. So... I like the smell of it, but I don't like the... House of Bow Espirito. Mm. I would wear this. Yeah. It's... I'm going to try this on. Hang on a second. One squirt. Okay. Ooh, I like that a lot. Do ooh, you? ooh, yeah, that's a. Uh, ooh, I would wear that. Manly, very manly. Yeah, I like that. That's yeah. a good one. Good, good, good one. All right, what else we got? Okay. Let's see. We've got. I'm sorry, guys. It's what's a uh, Chris Collins by Sweet Taboo. It's Sweet Taboo Chris Collins. Oh. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, here's the label. Here's the thing, and it says it has. Cardamom, cinnamon, geranium, coffee, and vanilla. Sounds like ingredients of like a really good dessert. Wow, that's different. I've never smelled a scent like this in my life. Really? Mmm. Let me smell. It's the light. Oh yeah, that smells um. It's light. It smells like... And fragrant. The 90s. The 90s? No, I don't know. It smells... It's good. I like it. It smells like... Um, it's 
Well, one. I would wear it anyway because yeah. it's light. What does it say? You know, reading soft. reading the back of these things. It's light. I'll leave soft. it to everybody else to read them because sometimes they're a little, you know, they make me laugh and I'm, you know, like, ha ha. But uh, warm and inviting with a wink. See, that's what I mean. Warm and inviting with a wink. What does that mean? Okay. Uh, Come up and see me. This sometime. scent will become an obsession. <laughs> It kind of smells like obsession. Remember I said the 90s? Yes. It has an obsession smell. Remember the other? Okay, yeah. Anyway. Um, this fragrance inspires you to break taboos in search of pleasure. I'm not reading these. These things make me laugh. <laughs> I can't read them with a straight face. They smell really, really good. Yes. They smell... All three of those are really good. I use them up so I can get more. <laughs> Mom, they come every month. And I don't know how you use them up that fast because each fragrance comes with enough perfume in it to last you 30 days. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that allows you to try a new designer fragrance or more than one designer fragrance each month for 17 bucks. But it's 55% off your first month, which is about $8. $8. And they have about 600 designer fragrances and, uh, and they come every month. Yes. And you can try, depending on what subscription you know level you do, you can just get a little or a lot. Mm -hmm. um, you get a lot, but um, yeah. and you use them. Oh well, I love perfume. I know you do. So uh, if you like perfume, this was like Grandma's big thing. We started yes. it, and we're just carrying it on for her. Yes, that's cool. And there are more moving changes coming up. Yes. We've been We're moving on up. <laughs> <laughs> We're thinking about leaving Los Angeles. Yes. We haven't decided fully yet, but I've been spending... I don't want to leave my doctors now. Though. No, 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 not now. Uh, but I've been spending a lot more time uh, in houses by the water. What's that face? What's that face? Oh, geez, Grandma. <laughs> Another one. You... No. Why? Because I don't want to have to look down at the water. I don't want to see the water. No. There's something else. Uh, I think that thing stinks. You don't love the smell of the ocean? No. It stinks. It's wonderful. It has dead animals in it. <laughs> it has, I just don't want to let that go to the ocean. That's all. I, I hate it. Well, uh, you do realize that we live very close to the ocean here. Oh yes, yes, I remember that. It's I, very close. We are not far from the ocean. Uh -huh, I know that too. So, it, it, does, it doesn't bother you now? I don't like water. I don't even like to drink this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like to drink water. <laughs> You know I can't swim. Mom, I can't I'm not, stand I, to be by the water. It's not a houseboat. It's not on the water. Oh, well. It's not on the water. You'll want to go cruising around in a, in a boat. And I still do now. I know. I, I go, I kayak. I am in the water well, I know, and I can't stand that. I scuba. I do all of those things. And I, I know. love the ocean. I know. But I don't like it in Los Angeles. I don't like the water up here. Um, I don't really like the water in on the West Coast anywhere. Uh, that's not my favorite waters. Anyway, so I haven't decided yet, but probably La Jolla. What? Have you seen that beach? Mom, you're not going to the beach, but have you seen all the shopping they have there? No. <laughs> <laughs> La Jolla and Del Mar have a lot of shopping, but um, I think that... I think that... You know, Why don't you just go to Catalina Island? You know what? What? I've never ever in my life been to Catalina Island. Well, I haven't either. But not to be like this, but now that Grandma is gone, um, I, I never really went down to the beach as much. I never really spent as much time down in either Santa Barbara or uh, San Diego because... You know, I wanted to spend every day with Grandma or as much time as I could. How so. about Louisiana in the swamps? <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> you like alligators because you go to Florida. Well. <laughs> now, you like boats and there you have swamps. I love Louisiana, first of all. First of all, I love Their Louisiana. Their food is delicious, isn't it? I love Louisiana. 
the, the climate isn't for me. I can't do that climate. No. I mean, we still have to talk about it, but I definitely think that, um, you know, just Los Angeles lost its sparkle. It did. It's, it's, it's become... A dump. It has. It's, it's incredibly filthy. Yeah. It is insanely filthy. Yeah. It is... Well, there are places that are spotless. Sure. Clean. But I'm not talking about that. Like your neighborhood, my neighborhood, you know, where we eat. Those but are all clean. when you go clean. down the highway and see all that. It's not even the highway. It's the streets. It's yeah. everywhere you look. It's just... It has really, really changed. Yeah. And also, it is the amount of crime... That is happening right here. all that smash and grab stuff it, going on it scares me i don't want to go shopping they have it in high-end stores now, i know and it's, it's everywhere worrying me and so i don't yeah i'm just kind of over it i'm over it i'm After over it. i'm ready i'm ready to just kind of go to a little beach town and you know just you know and you don't have to you know i'll get you your own house you don't have to live with me you'll have your own well, little, i would never i know <laughs> Well, why? You're a slob. <gasps> <laughs> I resemble that remark. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> La Jolla smells really good, too. You know, all those mussels on the beach, though. Are you talking about the men or the actual animals? Because I don't know what you have the time. Those things they eat. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They look like barnacles. <laughs> Mom, you don't even go to the beach. You well, don't. Here's the thing. We could literally live on the sand, right? The, mm -hmm. the back door opens to the sand and oh, the ocean. Oh, all that sand tracking in the and house. And the front door to the street. And you, was, you would never notice that there was an ocean back there because you would go right out the front door in your car to the shopping, to the eating. And you wouldn't even notice there was But I would problem. notice somebody else bringing sand in the house. <laughs> 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 Um, all right, uh, I feel like we should be talking about something else. Food, maybe we could go eat. Oh, why don't we give your doctor a call really quick oh. and ask about the sugar? And maybe if you can still have the, the you know, start back up on your I'm desserts. I'm sure I can. Are you sure you can? Yes. All right, well, let's ask him. No, I'm just going to do it, and it'll show up in the test. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. <laughs> I love you. I love you more. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.